Alright, so I played a little bit of the uh, Black Clover Quartet Knights open beta that was available Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I just kind of kind of talk about it a little bit and see how it compares to another game that's coming out that's very similar to it, Naruto the Boruto Ultimate Shelby Strikers. So I think of this as more of a first impression slash comparison. So off the back, the game is a 4v4 anime class based fighter of sorts. So you have objective points on the map such as capture the flag, not necessarily capture the flag, but capture the objective point, uh, team deathmatch, so on and so forth. There are titled differently. One is you collect keys that are on the map and you open up treasure chests on the map and the more treasure chests you earn, the higher your points go. Another one is a standard team deathmatch, the more kills you get, the higher the points. Another one is a Overwatch-esque type of game type to where there's a crystal on the map and you have to move the crystal from the middle of the map over to the opponent side of the map. So, uh, if you played any other game that's class based, you know, you'll recognize the game types. You know, they're not too much different from anything else. The game breaks down into four different classes your attackers, your shooters, your defenders, and then your healers, or defenders are called supports in this game. Your attackers are what you expect. These are primarily melee best, be sorry, melee based fighters that do a significant amount of damage to single targets. Um, they hit a lot harder than the rest of the class. Their health and defense are about subpar to what you expect. But these are the type of characters that you want to pick if you want to do a heavy amount of damage to one target. Your shooters are kind of in the same uh, category, except a lot of their abilities are long range. So you will be pretty much behind the attackers or behind the support characters, shooting off long range damage. A lot of these characters actually do have area of effect attacks, so you can hit multiple opponents with one attack. Your healers are, of course, your healing classes. These help heal back your health and your shield. They also have some buffs and debuffs against the enemies and stuff like that. So these are the support-esque type characters in terms of health and defense. And then you have the support class, which are the defender class. These help buff shields. These have abilities that will keep characters at bay. Or they will actually use utility things to keep uh, enemies trapped in a certain area. Or they will br uh, boost up your team's defenses and so on and so forth. So... I primarily played the uh, the attackers, the shooters, and the um, sorry the support class. I didn't play any of the healers in my time with the beta, but overall the game is very easy to pick up and play. Uh, the characters' abilities are pretty easy to understand. For instance, Luck is what you're seeing on the screen right now. He has an ability that uh, shoots off 30 shots. You can wait for the shots to reload. He has two different types of dashes. One is a sliding kick. Another one is a gauntlet uppercut type and then he has a regular dash attack. So his main thing is mobility and be able to attack from afar. His ultimate allows you to attack one central area uh, a bunch of times. He pretty much traps the enemies inside of a bubble and then he attacks with inside that bubble so he does a significant amount of damage. So it's really important for this game, from my understanding, and this is something I didn't really do, is to communicate what characters and what people you're gonna pick per map. Uh, because having four of the same characters is something that you don't want to do. Um, if you play like Overwatch, if you play Naruto, the Boruto, Shinobi Strikers, the Beta, or any other class-based things, or class-based games, you know not to do that type of thing. Um, it's very important to have your team move with you, or if at the very least be aware of where your teammates are, just in case you need to, uh, to be backed up with support. Because like any other game, you will get jumped on, there will be two or three people trying to fight you, and there's not really much you can do in those type of scenarios if you're being overwhelmed. So, the game itself is very simple, um, every character has to jump, characters can move uh, around the map. Not everyone can defend themselves like some of the attackers. Um, but a lot of characters have at least one mobility type move to allow them to go um, a certain distance so they can kind of traverse around the map a, a little bit quicker. The game is okay um, overall from what I've played so far. Uh, I had fun with it. I had fun with some of the characters that I but enjoyed myself with two of the characters here which you'll see on screen. But I feel like this is the type of game that's going to cater towards fans of the series and not necessarily pick up new people per se. So if you're a fan of Black Clover or if you're a fan of anime based games, this is a sure bet game to pick up. You're going to enjoy yourself, but for how long is the question? Um, these type of games, from my um, knowledge and from my experience, don't really last too long. And what I mean by that is there isn't a significant amount of DLC or content that they can add on to this game that will you know, ensure its longevity. Right? I, I'd imagine this is the type of game that you pick up, you play the story mode, and I imagine it follows the story mode of the anime somewhat close. 
and then you play the multiplayer, you play with friends, you have fun, and then you wait for the next game, which we're probably in this timeline, you'll probably switch between this and Naruto to Boruto, and then maybe um, the new Jump Stars game, which I believe is called uh, Jump Force, and so on and so forth. So I'd imagine the lifespan of this game not lasting no more than maybe six months to a year, if that. But it is a surefire game to where you'll get what you pay for in regards to, you know, what you're getting yourself into. It's fun. You know, if you like the characters, you can see the characters on the big screen on, on a video game sense. So it, it's it's not the worst game in the world so far. And again, it's just a beta, uh, open beta. So at this point, it's pretty close to release. I believe it releases either in September or October. I don't know the correct date. But I feel like this game is going to be overshadowed by Naruto because they play very similar and what I mean by that is that they're both class based fighters that have you uh, fighting for objective points on the map and the one thing that Naruto has going for that Black Clover doesn't is character customization and what I mean by that is that you can create your own character you can have your own jutsus and abilities in Naruto to Boruto which a lot of people get to find things to, to make you know certain classes or abilities certain characters and with that type of game format, you can keep adding more jutsus, more characters, more outfits, and stuff like that. So it's going to increase the longevity of that game, minus Black Clover, where it, everything seems to be very limited to what you get at launch. And maybe I'm wrong, maybe they'll come out with certain DLCs or something like that, but just based on my time with the game, um, it, it's going to be a very limited-esque game. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, there's nothing wrong with having a game with some, some limited options. It just depends on what your competition is and if you're a big fan of the game and how often you're going to go back and play it back and forth. So, overall, I, I may pick up this game. Um, I'm going to watch the anime because the, the game actually did pique my interest in the anime, so I'm going to check out some of the episodes. Um, if you are a fan of the game, let me know what you think about it. If you played the open beta or if you've seen some of the gameplay, this is something you're going to pick up. Again, in my personal opinion, I think it's going to last maybe six months to a year. Um, it's going to be a solid game for sure, um, especially for fans and, and those who like anime based games. Um, it's, it's not going to necessarily flop per se, but it'd be above average at best most likely. You won't see anything, you won't win any game awards or, or game of the year awards or anything like that, but it will be a solid anime title and that's usually kind of the spectrum how these games work. So overall, decent game, may pick it up don't necessarily know for sure. Um, if it comes out the same time as Naruto and I choose to pick up one or the other, my money's probably going to be going towards Naruto just because I feel like Naruto is more of an investment uh, versus kind of a surefire one and done thing like I expect with Black Clover. So uh, that's just my thoughts on it so far. Uh, I do have some other gameplay that I'll be posting up shortly uh, of some of the characters that I played. Uh, they might not have commentary on them because I only recorded uh, necessarily footage. I didn't have time to do uh, commentary over it. Or I may do some commentary over my thoughts of each of the characters that I played with. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think if you did play the open beta and if you're picking up the game. And let me know what you think the game's going to evolve into in the future.